What's up everybody? Welcome to Kicknology. I'm your boy Truth and this is another episode of The Word in Jays. Where I'm going to be connecting the Word of God with these sneakers that you see behind me. Today's episode, we're going to be focusing on a shoe that I call my beater shoe. We all have beater shoes. You know those shoes that we pretty much just toss on and do, do stuff around the house in. Maybe mow the grass, stuff like that. This shoe is actually one of my favorite shoes of all times. And it is the He Got Game 13s. This right here is my beater shoe. This is my basketball shoe. This is a shoe that I've done a lot of things in. And it's got the most wear and tear out of any sneaker that I own. Now, just to kind of show you guys a little bit of what this, what I mean by this shoe, let me come up here. So, this shoe has really been through it. You know what I'm saying? This is the toe box. You can see with my big toe, my small toe, but just between uh, running around on the basketball court where it's been affected by that. Look at the toe box right here. It's basically, hi you guys, you know what I'm saying? It's basically falling apart. Um, the bottom is, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's worn. It's a very worn shoe. This is my shoe that, you know what I'm saying, come in, I need to go outside, I need to do some work, I throw this shoe on. So good, bad, and indifferent. This shoe gets all type of climates. It gets all of the, uh, the beaten. It gets the happy moments. You know what I'm saying? When I'm hitting game winners and stuff like that from playing basketball. This is my go-to shoe. This is the shoe that absorbs a lot. And look at it. It is still standing. A little beat up, you know what I'm saying, from the toe box. But it's still intact. This shoe represents the way I've been feeling the past week. It's been a lot of stuff going on in this world. And I've been trying to wrap my mind around so many different emotions and feelings from the social injustice that we see on television, being a black man, being a Christian black man, having to go to work, still dealing with the COVID-19 and we act like that that's not going on. It's just been so many things that have called, caused me to feel beat down. I feel like every day that I wake up and I walk outside, I'm that beater shoe. I step out and I'm just seeing, I'm seeing what the world is gonna toss at me to beat me down and to just keep going, keep going. Different storms, different, different, different situations. Just like this sneaker. But the thing is, is this, it's always encouragement. And that's what I wanna bring to you guys today. Let's go ahead and go to the word. So today we're gonna be focused on three scriptures. Three scriptures that have got me through this past week and that, that seems like it always gets me through any of the the bad vibes that I'm feeling, it, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, stuff like that. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for your welfare and not for evil. Give you a future and hope. Isaiah 41, 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And then Proverbs 3, five through six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. This shoe was designed to uphold and withstand a lot of things. It was built for different weather. It was built for different activities, different body weights, different uh, heights, sizes. All those things was thought of when this was made, when this was created. I was made in that same way. I was made to withstand different storms. You were made to withstand different storms. You were made to be able to go out and encounter so many different things that your body, your mind, and soul should be able to withstand. Lean on God. Those verses are telling us to lean on God. Whatever you're going through, no matter how much, no matter how beat down you feel, no matter if you if you are that beater shoe right now, no matter if you're that beater shoe, lean on God. Trust in his understanding and not your own. Pray for each one of you guys to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. Rock what you like, not what's hype. Wash them hands, man. And remember, these shoes behind me are just bait. A way for me to share my faith. I'm gone.